video is going to test what happens, oh, the sponge is falling apart. What happens when you use dishwasher soap in a toilet? Will it clean it or not? Now, I read, this is going to be about an eight minute video so I can pump up the commercials on here of the ads. Turn off your ad blocker and let's see what happens. So, I read somewhere that if you put denture tablets in a toilet that it will clean it up. I also read that if you put dishwasher tablets in a toilet that it will clean it up. Now, I read somewhere they wanted to make their own dishwasher tablets and the main chemical that is used in dishwasher tablets is a controlled chemical and if you attempt to purchase that you're probably going to have somebody knocking on your door finding out why. So not worth the problem. I'm going to be draining the toilet right now. This toilet this is caked. This is absolutely filthy. Um, somebody uh, told me, come over here and see what you can do with this thing. So what I'm going to be doing after I drain this, there's more water in here than I thought. Um, I'm going to be putting dishwashing soap in here. Dishwasher soap. Not dishwasher. Yeah, dishwasher soap, dishwashing soap. And I'm going to see what it does. I've done many other videos on my channel about uh, the different toilet cleaners, what I like, what I don't like. None of them have had a toilet that has been as bad as this. This is dried on, caked on, absolutely filthy, all the way to the rim. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the soap in. I'm not going to let it soak for an hour. I'm going to put the soap in there. Let's see what happens on the bottom, see what happens if it, I just want to see if the dishwashing soap dissolves all the stains and the dried on. Uh, we got some black stuff in here. It looks like maybe some, uh, I don't think it's mold growth, but some type of water growth. So we're going to watch me drain this toilet. Um, probably going to be a 15 minute video because there's much more water than I expected in here. Um, I usually do this with two sponges, but I don't have two sponges. Well, I do, but I, I don't. So, uh, make sure you put something on the floor. I'm draining this in a bathtub that's next to me. Make sure you put this something on the floor so that you can catch all the leaky water. And then after you're done, wash the floor, sanitize it, and whatever else uh, this water touched. So we're almost there. Water is totally cleaned out. This toilet has almost like a lime slime coating all the way around it, a calcium deposit buildup. All you use a brush, none of this is coming off. Very dangerous to do what I'm doing. You drain the toilet, or you open up the uh, pipe in the floor to allow all the sewer gases to enter your house. So you really don't want to do that for too long. It's not safe. I got a thing of liquid gel, Kirkland uh, dishwasher soap. It's never been opened. I just opened it. And it looks kind of slimy in here. So let's pour this in here and we're going to see what this does. I really have no idea what it's going to do. Oh, it's thick. It's gooey. I like that. That's really, that's almost what you want for a toilet uh, test like this. So I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm going to take the brush. I'm going to let this soak for a while. I want to get that over there. And then I'm going to uh, come back. Let's take a brush right now. And let's just see what happens. What, does this remove anything immediately? Because I know before with a brush, nothing was coming off. There, as I said, there's a chemical in the dishwasher soap that is supposed to be very good for this. Um, the advantage of using the, the Works Toilet Bowl Cleaner is it's got a sprayer so you're able to spray up under the rim. And it's a thick, it's kind of a thick gel, not as thick as this. 
but it does work. Um, I'll be back. I don't know if it's doing anything right now. I want to give it some time to work with the chemical. I'm going to use the brush on it, and I'll be back in a few minutes. I put some on the sponge and got it under the rim just so that I could have uh, maybe some cleaning over there. And using the sponge, I really don't see that anything's happening. Very minimal. I don't know that it's even breaking through the, uh, the deposit over here. And I really should let this chemical work and soak. That when you got a washing machine or a dishwasher, it's not like it's really soaking. You're just uh, cleaning. So I can't really see that this is going to do anything compared to the works or the Lysol toilet cleaner. Um, yeah, nothing's coming off. Or let me do, let me change that. Very little is coming off. So I'll be back in five minutes, and then we'll end the video. I don't think this is going to work, but we'll find out. As I said, I've got the drain opened over here. I really don't want that to uh, be the case. Oops, I just dropped some water on the floor. So um, I'm just going to end this video. Let's see what it's doing on the bottom. Absolutely nothing. It's not breaking through this carrot. That is calcium. And I would love to put some lime cleaner on there now, but you do not want to mix chemicals. I would say using dishwasher cleaner is a fail. I'm not the kind of person who wants to leave chemicals in a toilet overnight. I don't think that's a wise thing to do. I don't think it's a wise thing to leave your sewer line open for the house. And uh, I've been scrubbing back and forth for about 10 minutes with this stuff. And I think the only reason any of it's come off is because the abrasiveness of the sponge. The stain over here, listen to this. Hear that? None of that's coming off. I'll follow this video up tomorrow with a lime cleaner or the works. And we'll get this toilet in shape.